the Tacoma is going to see its first deep water. All right, we have some flooding here. The Tacoma is going to see its first deep water. Hopefully it's just deep water because we're going to we're going to find out. Let's uh, let's show you a little bit of front facing camera action. Since that's what this video is going to be about today, I just came across this. We had like 10 to 14 inches of rain over here. You guys can see the road is flooded behind me. It's even worse. It's flooded over there. And of course, this isn't a big deal. It's not that deep, but wow, check that out. This is on the road. Could you imagine approaching this at 55? This is a 55 mile an hour road. And uh, wow. Well, that was the first time the Tacoma has been through any kind of uh, deep water. Well, good afternoon, everybody. How you all doing? Hey, I, uh, I was just out driving around today. Going to talk a little bit about the front facing camera on the Tacoma and, uh, and came across that. Uh, this is, a, like I said, a 55 mile an hour road. Could you imagine cruising through here and uh, not knowing because there are no signs um, that say high water or anything, probably because they don't have enough. There's high water all over the place here right now. But could you imagine slamming into that at 55 miles an hour? Wow. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys uh, a little bit of flooding uh, in the road still. And it's been two days now since the storms went through it looks like we have another area of uh of some flooding in the road not nearly as bad it doesn't look like as what we had back there but uh a little bit here let me flash the camera around for you coming up on it right there again a little bit of water in the road uh well covering one lane anyway and halfway into my lane Wow, so we still have quite a bit of water even two days after, and it's the same uh, on the other side of the road, probably a little worse, uh, but two days after the, uh, the flooding. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that. This kind of stuff always fascinates me, but anyway, what I really wanted to get on here and talk about uh, is the front-facing camera on the truck, uh, and I'm in the Tacoma, of course, and the reason that I thought of this, I was out the other day about, I think a couple days ago, and uh, I was at a gas station. And at this gas station, they have those kind of, oh, what do you want to call them? U-shaped, upside down U uh, bars across the front of the store to keep people from pulling up too far and running into the store, you know? because we love to pull up to those barriers. We like to get as close as possible because if we have to take three steps more than we, than we had to, it's a problem. Uh, so anyway, I was in the store, did my thing, coming out, and we have some more water in the road up there. But I was coming out of the store and uh, I, I heard there was this, this truck. I, it was either a Tacoma or a Tundra. I think it was a Tacoma, but to be honest, in the heat of the moment, I can't remember now. Um, but I was coming out of the store and I hear this kind of noise, you know, this crunching kind of sound, which is really what it was like, a crunching. And I'm like, oh God, I, it took me a second. I look around and I look beside me, just a little off to the left. And here is this Tacoma that's pulled up to that barrier, but they didn't stop. They're doing this inching business you know, until, and they went too far. They pulled right into that barrier on the front of their truck. I couldn't believe it. And all I could think was, you need a front facing camera. Or if you have one, why aren't you using it? So it was just surreal to me to see, you know, when things like that happen, especially since I'm very familiar with that because I have the front facing cam on the Tacoma, right? So, I'm looking at it as I'm walking out, kind of stopped a little. The people probably really love that. I wish I'd have gotten footage of it, but that probably would have been in poor taste. Uh, but they did run right into that little beam and it was probably about yay thick all the way around, like an upside down U. 
and uh, they crunched the plastic front part of their bumper. It was uh, it was it was broken. I guess it just split. They they kept going, and it wasn't a fast speed. It's not like they flew up there and, and hit it. They were just doing that old inching thing, you know, where a lot of people have said, and I thought of this too in the video that I did, well, why do you need that? You should know where your truck is. It should just be common sense. You should just know. And I'm like, nobody just knows. You can't see over the front. I don't care how many times you do it. When you pull up to something, if you're trying to get close, like this person obviously was, you kind of do that little inching maneuver, you know, do, 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 and hope you don't hit it. You hope you don't. And I think in our minds, we think that, well, even if we do hit it, we're going so slow, there isn't going to be any damage. Well, that wasn't the case with this guy's truck or gal. I don't remember. I didn't see actually whether it was a man or a woman. The windows were, windows were heavily tinted. <clears throat> but they cracked the front bumper cover. You know, it's got that lovely plastic across the front. It's not like the old days where you could tap something and maybe not do any damage. But they cracked that and they, 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 I guess, inched forward hard enough that they actually had red paint from that little uh, barrier on the front of their truck. It came off on the truck. What a drag. Now, they didn't leave. They did stop. Uh, they had no choice. And they backed up a little bit, to which I heard another little as the plastic went back to form or fell off, whatever. I'd be surprised if some didn't fell, fall off because it had kind of splintered a little bit, you know. But they did back up and they did stay. And then I left. I was probably past the truck at that point, almost. Uh, because again, you know, you don't really want to sit there and put that on film. It's probably not in good taste. But just another example of why the front facing camera is so handy. You got to think, I would think, that if they had a front facing camera and they're so intent on pulling that close to the barrier, that they would have indeed used that front facing camera. Um, so that they'd be able to see how close they were really getting. I mean, you would hope, right? Rather than run into something like that. I mean, I don't know if they damaged the post. I don't think they did. But the store certainly could have said, hey, you ran into our post uh, and scraped the paint off. So we're going to need some uh, restitution for that. I mean, they did hit it, right? Well, we've pulled into the gas station here. So let me uh, let me hop out and uh, I'll be right back. All right, just filled up the Tacoma. And somebody had asked me before, and I can't remember if it was on the Tundra or the Tacoma, but distance to empty once I uh, filled up, 365 miles. So my readout is 365 miles. They were concerned that theirs had changed. So anyway, if you're out there, can't remember who asked, 365 miles. So back to, uh, back to the topic at hand here, the front facing camera. Um, you know, definitely uh, a benefit for sure. I mean, if that had been me and I pulled up there and did what they did to their Tacoma, uh, I would have been pretty darn upset uh, at myself uh, because I did something so stupid, you know? And that's another thing, you know, when you're pulling in somewhere, I mean, do you really got to take it to the nth degree? You know, do you really got to pull up that, so that you don't have to take that extra eighth of a step? I mean, come on, man. They could have stopped a foot away from that thing and been fine, but they didn't. So anyway, that's something that they're going to get to deal with. And just another reason, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that having a front-facing camera in a big vehicle is a must. We spend a lot of money on these trucks, and it had to be a drag for those people to do that. Uh, I just hope it was their truck and not somebody else's, because to explain that, could you imagine? Yeah, I was pulling up the gas station, and I didn't want to walk that extra, you know, tenth of an inch, so I tried to get as close as I possibly could to that little round bar and I hit it I hit it I wouldn't want to have that conversation man I would be irate anyway just wanted to get on here uh, talk about that a little bit and uh, as it would be I guess we we came across the high water out here so my Tacoma has taken its first trip 
through high water. And it did fine, no issues. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe this video. And uh, we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.